Welcome back to Sonsta Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play Until the Last Plane. Until the Last Plane is a game where you manage your own airfield, send your pilots out on the mission, fight enemies and create spare parts. The game is set in World War II. There are three rebel nations, USA, USSR and Germany and essentially you're gonna be managing your planes at home, you're gonna be sending out pilots to missions, the pilots can also get level ups and promote as you're gonna see and uh, we're gonna have to manage our fuel, ammunition. You're also gonna be able to craft certain components of your plane so that you can quickly fix any damages and you'll be able to assign skill points to make your aircraft and your pilots better. And we're gonna try to destroy enemy aircraft and also bombard their bases. The game is set to come out on March 4th as a full release and it's very easygoing and kind of like a fun, relaxing World War II airfield management game. All right, let's start. We're gonna be playing the campaign. We're gonna be playing as the USA. And we'll start with Tunis, which is the first thing we can do. Our main resource is funds and our bonus is campaign events. The High Command has entrusted you with the management of Gasfa Airport. Your mission is to support the land troops that need to advance to Tunis. During the first day, you should run reconnaissance to discover strategic enemy targets. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is going to send out reconnaissance. Now here you can pick how big of a range you want to do. So you can do small, medium or large. Uh, the bigger the range, the higher risk of interception so they can shoot out your plane. So we're going to do, I think we're actually going to do low because um, you'll get options and missions but then you can only choose one and uh, then you're gonna have to do another reconnaissance so it's not really that necessary to do that big on a very so we can see a base we're gonna take a po photo here on the bottom you can see the current danger level and the current fuel level so we're gonna keep moving do you, okay we don't actually have much fuel so we're gonna go back to base out of fuel, out of fuel. all right didn't actually click the back to base, but uh, it went home anyway. All right, so we've got a couple of new missions. Actually, only one because we only saw one area. We can, we have to kill at least one enemy, and we have two tar and we have to bombard at least two bases. Now here you can see the current uh, the current wind level. This affects your bomb aiming, so because it's weak, you're going to be able to aim a little bit better. Temperature. This is the probability that the aircraft suffers damage to the engine or radiator, and this is giving us our suggested plane attacker and what kind of enemies are we gonna have so we're gonna take off and here we can pick how many planes we want to send out so the more planes you send out obviously the more chances you get to destroy the enemy however uh, if the planes get damaged or run out of ammunition they go back to your airfield to sort of resupply so if you have too many planes there's gonna be a lot of congestions also if you send out a lot of um planes and pilots over they'll be fatigued and stressed so the next mission will be a little bit harder so you can also see here if you hover over this the sort of level of the plane and also the pilot so we can see that this is a fighter plane our pilot is murphy he is a rookie and he has a pretty good will but low accuracy so that's gonna make it a little bit harder for us so we'll try to see we have fighter planes seem like all of our planes are fighter planes seems they're all of the same type yeah, this guy's pretty good. Nelson, so we're gonna pick Nelson. Morris is pretty terrible. Walker and Morris. You know what? Morris is terrible, but because we have two other pilots who are really good, I'm hoping that's gonna be fine. So we're gonna tell them to take off. And you can see that here they're flying off. Now this is the time through which the time that we have to finish sort of the mission and the number of pilots determine how many times we'll be able to actually do something so you can see that we click here we have 23 seconds to click it and here we can move around so we've got five move the enemy only has three so we're gonna move a little bit to the left you can see by the shadow where we're going so we're going like this then they go then we go again then they go and then we've got we're gonna move up and we're gonna move down again and then towards them. Now when we finish moving we have a sort of this area in front of us to which we shoot. There was the red area and if we successfully hit them then oh, we destroy one our enemy. So we can see that we already killed one out of one foes that we needed. Now we're gonna do bombardment. The way the bombardment works is that first you pick the altitude at which you want to do. The higher you, ha you are the lower chance of getting intercepted. So it's just gonna stay. And then you have to first stop the vertical and then the horizontal thing on top of the base. So we dropped it, but then they killed us. So we're gonna have to fix this ship. Now here you can see that the Nelson, Nelson thing is slightly damaged, so we're gonna have to inspect it. So we can inspect different parts of the plane. 
Here we can inspect a engine or a fuel tank or cockpit or wing. Let's uh, inspect the wing and now we've got a next area to go at. We really have the best options to move to the right. So we're just gonna try to go up. Yeah, I think. So actually it's interesting that he can shoot backwards. So this was this was quite lucky for us. Now we can see that we're, we're doing the inspection. We didn't actually find the thing that was broken. So we have to inspect another part until we find it and then we can fix it. Time for another bombardment. We're gonna stay at the altitude again. And we're gonna click over here. And now drop the bomb. And we should be good. All right, so it wasn't the the wing, so we're gonna check out the cockpit. We, here we found the problem, so we're now gonna fix it using our spare parts. Up on the top here you can see my spare parts, my fuel and my ammunition. So this one did not get hurt at all, so the only thing we need to do is fix this ammunition. Now the problem wasn't with the wing or the cockpit, so let's check the engine. Hopefully we're gonna find what the problem was. We can see that we actually have some time, but we haven't been able to do any more missions because all of our planes are obviously here at the airfield. So let's go and yes, fix the engine, because that's apparently where the problem was. Now the fact that we have more moves than the enemy is actually quite good. In, in the test game I did, we actually had a lot less enemies, so it was a lot more about guessing. This one is a little bit easier for us because... Okay, so this was a bad move. I moved forward, so now we both shoot at each other. Actually, we shot him first. No, no, he shot us too. Okay, never mind. So obviously we're going to need to fix this. I am hearing a strange sound. Okay, bombardments. We'll go at low out altitude this time. It's gonna be a bit harder to hit the base, but... Actually, sorry, it's gonna be easier to hit the base because we're closer, but they have a higher chance of shooting at us. Shooting at us. Yeah, okay, should've gone at high altitude. It's all right, though. Oh, they actually killed the pilot, so that's new. Okay, okay. And one of the other pilots got promoted and we got a lot of money, so I'm not that worried about it. All right, let's uh, try to see what the problem is. Now that we finished this, we need to do another reconnaissance, so we're gonna try to check find some more missions. So we're gonna do like a two... Let's do like a medium risk. Found the problem, so let's forget this one costs 23 parts, so that's a lot. Alright, now it's time to fly around. I won't be able to take a picture of it much, but I guess a little bit. You can't move to the side, you just have to kind of go through the middle. It does seem to find it anyway, apparently. Take one more photo, and then we're gonna go back to base. And we've got a couple of new missions. We can attack the base. Sure, let's go with very weak wind. This should be easiest for us. So we're gonna pick this one. We need to fix this plane. And you can see the fatigue of our pilots. We're gonna go with Murphy, Butler, and Ivans. And leave the rest of them around. Missions accomplished today. So we already accomplished one mission today and hopefully we can do some more tomorrow. Could also hire new pilots later on. We're gonna start with bombardment. Let's go at high altitude. It's gonna be a bit more difficult, but I'm pretty good at clicking this. Yeah, we did it. The, the time matters when you click on it the first time, not later on. Now, we can also click here to go to our headquarters where we could get go to the academy and gain like additional skill point. For example, we could increase the accuracy of all pilots. Sure, let's do that. But we gotta go do some fighting before we kind of keep looking around. Let's keep moving to the left. Like this. I keep forgetting that they get to shoot at us too. We gotta try to move a little bit further away. Hope he's not dead. <laughs> Losing a little bit. A little too many pilots. One more move. It's gonna be- no, this is- this is great. This was not too close. Okay, this pilot is fine. Evans is fine. Alright, so in the headquarters we can get the upgrades for skills. Here we could try to gain some additional parts. If we need, we could get more fuel or more ammo. And then here- yeah, here we're at the headquarters. Okay. Alright, let's do- a little bit to the side, then front. Ooh, this is not a great move because we have to get closer. But, yeah, I, I didn't want to get hit here, so I was like, I'm just gonna move away. I think we killed enough of the enemies. Yes, so we're actually pretty good on that. We'll go at high altitude again. That went very well. 
All right, we gotta check what the problem is. So we're gonna try to test out some parts. We we'll also go here to the workshop and try to craft some components. So this will allow us to gain a specific component of the plane. So for example, we could get, uh, we actually have already, do we have everything in stock? No, we have no engine. So we wanna build an engine. For this, we need 100 parts. So we're actually gonna have to buy some parts first. Yeah, buy a lot of parts and try to build an engine. Why is it not available? Okay, I, I guess it takes a while. Okay, but first of all, we gotta do a bombardment first. I like to stay the hell out. Oh, no, 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 no. You went at high altitude and we died anyway? How dare you? I was trying to hide. I wasn't good enough. Okay, this time it worked at least. Now right, we gotta keep checking the problem. Out of ammo, I can fix that. What's the problem here? Nobody knows. Found the problem? Yes, so we gotta yes, fix whatever that was. Yes, sir. We just put in some ammo and off we go. Problem found. Yes, yeah, we don't have many spare parts. We gotta try to get more. But we definitely won this, this task very easily. But I think we might, might have lost one pilot. No pilot this time. Okay, we got two promoted, some injured, but that should be okay. Murphy has been promoted. Ivans has been promoted. So you can see that over here. Nelson is the one who's dead. Alright, so we could do another reconnaissance or we can just like wait till the end of the day. We get any more skills. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, we do. We could get uh, the durability of each aircraft is increased by 10. And all mechanics will work 20% faster. Raise resistance for all pilots by 10, they will be less fatigued during the fight. Or all pilots control the aircraft better by reducing the wind penalty. Bombing reticles will move more slowly. I think we'll just increase the durability of e each aircraft because we have to fix a lot of the broken parts, so it's not ideal. Let's move to the next day. We've done very well on our first day. Today you must protect the column of wagons, preventing them from being bombarded. Intercept every enemy aircraft and shoot it down. Okay. Got a tank aircraft. The head of a nearby village showed up at the camp. He says he's glad the allies have finally landed. He brings gifts, fruit grown by the farmers. Yes, accept the gift. You accept the gift and the chief of the village seems very happy. Unfortunately, your men get a stomach ache after eating. Ooh, we get bad morale. Crate of supplies landed near our camp, probably parachuted in, but we didn't make any demands. Yes, let's open the crate. Decided to open the crate. We found spare parts inside. 200 spare parts. That was a good move. Alright, let's do... Oh, yeah, we straight up get the mission, so let's just take off for this mission. We need to fix all of these. I'm gonna start with Morris and Butler. And I'm also going to pick Murphy, who gets increased accuracy. And Walker. I leave Evans to kind of relax. So we've got four people. We only have three places for planes to rest, but we should we should be okay. Might be a bit of an overkill because this is not that difficult of a mission. But you know. Go big or go home. Alright, so now we are the ones who are actually trying to run away. So we want to so we're gonna do a barrel roll. Got a few more moves than they have. Oof. Dodge. No, I can only go split towards them. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they're gonna hit me. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't move anywhere else. That was unfortunate. We're burning! Wow. Murphy. Murphy's not doing so hard. Let's fix the fire. Alright, we'll start by dodging so we can get further away. Barrel rolls. Barrel roll again. If we end up in the same situation, we can like not move. So we gotta do the split at the beginning because you just end up kind of stuck. Yeah, there's something wrong. No problem twice. Okay, now we're doing the attack. Great, we shot them nicely. 
Enemy down. We're fixing Murphy there. Let me try to get some more, uh, more components. Yeah, we need another engine. Alright, where we're following. Great. Another enemy down. The two enemies are down, so everybody's down. We just need to protect ourselves at this point. That's all we really need to do. I like it better when we are the one attacking, because we're much better at that than when we have to... When we have to avoid, because we don't, we don't have the moves we need. Can I come back to base? Yes, I already fixed my problem. So this is a cool thing about the fatigue that actually affects the game like this. I like that. I like that a lot. Where are you there, Walker? Shouldn't you go into the thing? I'm out of ammo, yeah. Don't worry about it, Morris. Gotcha. I right, we're the one attacking. Great. Murphy's doing a really good job. Actually, the other boys won't totally be <laughs> yelling and walking like, Oh, are you so lazy? You went out there and you nearly died and you just, what, you just said you're tired? Who do you think you are? I just, I just, I just couldn't handle it anymore. I asked, I asked. They said it was fine. They said you guys handle it. Well, of course we did, because we're not. Go, go, go. We're not. What is the super slow animal called in English? I can only think of the check name. You know what I mean. The one that smiles super slowly in a certain movie that starts with the word zoo. Enemy down. The name for the animal in Czech, if you translate it back into the English, it would be like literally like a lazy walker. Which I think is really funny because we have a lazy walker here. So yes, that's pretty fun. I don't know what the, what the word is in English. Let me know in the comments, please. Alright, so we've got... Yeah, no, no, nobody's dead. Everybody's fine. Murphy has been promoted. And we've got another skill point. So now we could get all pilots control the aircraft better by reducing the wind penalty. No. Raise resistance for all pilots, there will be less fatigue. That could be useful. Or optimize production. Light structure. The ammunition and fuel capacity of each aircraft has increased by 20. Yeah, let's, no, no, no skill points. I don't want mechanics that works far faster. I'm going to wait for the for more skill points so that we can get some better upgrades. I don't think we need the beginning. Uh, do we want to do a new mission? I, I mean, I guess we do. Oh, we have to do another tank, uh, tank escort? Okay. So this time we'll pick- ooh, they're both very tired, so we'll go with Evans and Butler. I'm gonna try to grab Murphy, he might say he's too tired, but we're gonna try because he's really, really good. Like, Murphy is like the best pilot we've had, so I'd like to try it with him. But we'll see how well it ends up going, but no, this is- I want this place. We, want, we need more fuel and more ammunition. Yeah, this is Murphy. Murphy is always amazing. I think they don't shoot back, these guys. Yeah, okay. I gotta remember whether the enemy shoots back or not, because we don't want to end up with the dead pilot like last time just because we didn't know they can shoot back. Oh, this is the one where we get around. We have two dodge, one dodge and two barrel rolls. So we'll start with the, start with the split. Another one. And another one. Uh, this was a better move because we managed to run away because previously if we were to use the dodge they would just get too close and we wouldn't be able to have another dodge so gotta be smart about it all right let's let's follow them up dive attack another one great evans get them down did i pick walker for this mission i didn't did i should have picked him just just for fun so, should, so just so he could show the boys that he's like not a coward. Yeah, th this technique seems to be working pretty well for us. 
Yeah, this time we got a lot more moves than they did. So that, that went pretty well. Murphy's just amazing. He he's he's the best power we've had so far. Murphy. Butler. Okay, Butler. Let's see if we can take <laughs> It's only gonna miss, but then the enemy just like flew into us. That went great and well for Butler. Butler was like, I'm gonna show everybody I can be as good as Murphy. Uh, maybe not. Wait, what? Why are you moving into me? I mean, I'll take it, but what? Evans. Yeah, I don't think we picked Walker. Walker's lazing around. At home. Sleeping. I mean, at the base, probably not at home. At the base. Don't worry, I've got you. I'll give you your ammo. Calm down. Yeah, it's just Evans and Butler, but we're doing a great job. I don't think we've missed the plane yet. We're pretty epic. No more, no more bullets! Yes, just come home, I'll give them to you. Yeah, we like five out of- we needed one, we did like five. Yes, we were awesome. A rocking day too. Yes, sir. Yeah, could we get more? No, no, no. Okay, we're gonna get the ammunition here. Uh, can we get another component though? Do we have anything that we've got um, that we're missing? No, but we're gonna try to get another engine because we never seem to have enough engines, so. On duty. Like how excited he's like, on duty, I'm gonna go fighting. Oh, no, 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 no. Butler, butler. Butler, honey. I only have two barrels. I'm gonna try the splitting technique, but... Whew, that worked out. Okay. I wasn't sure it was going to. That, that, that was a bit of a tough one. Butler's been promoted. Alright, well I think this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other games that you play on this channel.